Okay, uh, A201, the contractor's scheduling requirements. One of the things that uh, everybody should really realize is that the means and methods is sort of the contractor's world. That includes scheduling. Yep. It's sort of the, uh, you know, where are the concrete trucks going to come in and sit uh, before they pour the concrete? Uh, like, all of that is part of the, the contractor's world. Uh, the design intent is the architect's world. Yep. And this is sort of talking about, like, all right, the contractor's got this scheduling thing they have to do. Yeah, and the language in blue was the AAA beefing up what is in the schedule so everybody's on the same page. And the reason why they did that is because as, as we've moved to much more fast track projects and these huge projects where time is really the most expensive thing is a delay, they said, let's, let's actually tell them what should go in the schedule. This is language that when I would get this document, I would add this always. I'm glad it's now in. I add a little bit more, but, but at least they're recognizing, you can't just say, oh, I'll get you scheduled. Don't worry about it, it's mine. At least we have to have some specifics in there. So there's like the initial dates, but then also interim schedule milestones, for example, is an interesting one. So yeah. it's not just start and finish, it's- there's When's a, foundations yeah, going in? When's key. the steel going up? You know, right. when are you gonna be dry in? There's lots of things that happen. And nobody expects uh, a schedule to actually be the final schedule. Like schedules change because weather and th you know right. permits and whatever. Like all kinds of things happen, but you need to have something to be the sort of backbone of the project so everybody can make decisions. Yeah, what I tell my clients, whether it's owner, contractor, or architect, schedule is a living, breathing animal until the date has passed. And once you're anything in the past, it's frozen. So you know anything that happened up till today, March six. Um, anything going forward, that schedule may change. But what happened before, and if they didn't meet, meet those dates, they've blown the schedule. And that's how you interpret it legally, is if something got, if it came and went and you passed the schedule, you can't revise it backwards, but you can manipulate it going forward.